Men har JT Squad, Climbs and Sekra, Hoshka, Dinit! Evet, bugün ne yapıyoruz? Um, um, Türkiye'de yapmayacağın şeyler, yani things not to do in Turkey. Yep. Let's see what this guy... By the way, I noticed this video has a lot of dislikes. Yeah, probably say a lot of bullshit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Neyse, bakalım ne dedi, ne dedi, ne dedi. Neyse evet arkadaşlar lütfen abone ol, like ad, videoyu paylaş, yorum yaz, katıl mesela onu basabilirsiniz ve videoya girelim. Evet. Greek, Persian, Byzantine, Roman and Ottoman cultures all clash beautifully throughout this gorgeous nation, which is home to some of the world's most noteworthy Christian and Muslim landmarks. However, if you want to soak up this unique country's charm in peace and safety, here's what not to do. No before you go. 1. Don't ignore Ramadan. It's a month-long Muslim holiday in which Muslims can't eat or drink anything between sun-up and sundown. The dates change every year, so do some research. Don't eat or drink in public and don't offer anything to a Muslim no. during daylight hours. No, I think I heard this from my English teacher, though. Don't do that. She said, you can't walk into a restaurant hmm. and be like, um, hey, I want to order for food. And it's kind of wrong like it's not like they're going to tell you to stop it but it's just kind of wrong to eat on the streets during the time of ramadan that was what she said okay uh -huh. it's like as a res sign of respect for those yeah. who are fasting yeah but it's not like it's prohibited or it's something. not like it's prohibited like they're going to physically ah, okay. tell you hey stop it just like sign of respect thank you hours <laughs> two don't walk in front of a so, praying sister something mm -hmm. like do Greek people also observe Ramadan or not? Greeks are Muslim Christians. They are Christians, yes. So, why did you mention Greece? Wait. No, it was just, that was a description of the Ottoman Empire. Blah, uh, blah, okay, blah. okay, 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 blah, okay, blah, okay, blah, okay. Blah, okay. Person. Muslim tradition holds that if you walk in front of someone who is praying, then their prayer will not be counted. This holds especially true while you're visiting a mosque. Don't ignore the dress code. Women especially should consider head covers and both. What? I mean, <laughs> that. I mean. You know I, what? This I, guy. I, this guy hasn't gone to talk. Yeah. No. He yeah, 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 just yeah. read some <laughs> article on a blog and like, okay. I mean, I've, I've, I've never been to Tokyo, but it's it, this is one. This one is like obviously what? a lie. Even what? the Turkish citizens, not all of them cover their heads. What? What it, is this? Like a vast a few of them, yeah, a vast majority them. of them don't cover them. Exactly. Yeah. So where's this? Oh, where's this coming from? Maybe he wants to talk about Saudi Arabia. I don't know. Maybe mixed. <laughs> <laughs> are, how will you mix Turkish <laughs> culture with another? Like, okay, if he was talking about Iran, oh, then I would yeah, say yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, Iran, because yeah, because I know they do it a lot. But if you then, something if about you Persian. visit Iran, it's not mm -hmm. by force that you as a tourist you have to cover your head. No, of course not. Of course yeah. not. That's what he's saying. Like if you but need to wait, visit. wait, 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 wait. There, there is someone that wanted to take mm -hmm. a photo or something, mm -hmm. or maybe a passport, or maybe applying for visa or something. And they asked her to put on hijab. I can't in remember. Turkey? No, in Iran. In Iran, but I can't remember who exactly it was. Mm. Huh? She's Iranian. Then yeah. she wanted a new passport. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she had to put on hijab for the passport. But in Turkey, this is total bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both should leave shorts at home. The further you get from big cities, the more likely you are to find Muslims who take offense at what they deem is lascivious dress. Okay, okay, wait. I know some people actually look like... Okay. What's this guy wearing? Yeah, what is this? Yeah. Why are you shirtless or something like that? Yeah. But I think it's normal in every... Almost every country. For example, in Nigeria, if you see someone just walking bare, yeah. bare chest because... Because yeah, it's hot it's or hard, something, you'd be yeah. like, hey, put on something, something man. Something, something, something like, of yeah. course, this is, but you people saw, walk around with, with shorts, bomb shorts, and bomb shorts. Uh, no, man. In summer, so you expect everybody to go for <laughs> Exactly. It needs to go to Turkey. It needs to go to, needs to, go to, Turkey. to Turkey, man. I don't think it's done. Don't go without learning to. Such a Bro, I don't know Turkish. 
what? Maybe I would have. Maybe I would. I think I should have gotten. No, there yeah, ne, like I didn't know a single thing in Turkish when when, came when I came to Cyprus. Though. Okay, this is getting annoying. This is just this, this, this so is just annoying. stereotype. He's uh, just he's just yeah. stereotype. It's stereotype because Turkish in the Middle East says so like. Okay, okay. Let me yeah. I Arabic think they, maybe they have, but I don't think you have to learn Arabic to visit Saudi Arabia. Even of if, course I not. This is just a bowl of. Sh- where did you get this information from? What's his name? Who was this channel? <laughs> we live in Turkish region. Turkish. Turkish. A lot of people living in Turkey don't speak English. So if you're planning on visiting the country, it's a good idea to learn a few basic words and phrases in order to communicate more efficiently. No. Even if even if you learn, it doesn't mean you're going to come. The thing is, they even speak English. English, yeah. Like. A lot of their youths and stuff. Yeah, they speak, they speak English. Basic, like, basic, um, they speak basically. Visit, please, where is this English, place? Where, yeah. where like, can I go? How can to, I get this? You want to visit Istanbul, Ankara, and Tanya? You're telling me you meet. You exactly. Meet, you meet five people. Exactly. 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 That's fucking <laughs> Boy, don't discuss politics. The political scene yeah, in I Turkey is very bad. Might be true, true, because bad. you might say something. You might say some tr- something and um, insensitive, yeah. and you just think, okay, it's normal. And, um, and Turkish people are like really sensitive about yeah, um, yeah. when it com- like, comes to yeah, like I that. think what they nationalists they mm. they love their country so much. So yeah. you might say something offensive that you might that you not, not think, so it's just yeah. better you stay there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I get. But like sense. but I don't know, for me I think I, I find it easy to talk about politics with what is it called? My Turkish friends. Maybe because I can like censor myself or something. Like, yeah, I can know yeah. when to say this and when not to say, say this. this. Things so, like, to say I know things don't want to say. But yeah. authorities who just wants to like hang around, you know mm-hmm. nothing about your politics. Well I, I hate I don't talk generally I don't talk I hate politics so yeah. Very heated. People are very nice and generally don't want to discuss politics. It's sort of a lose lose for both sides. Six. Turkish men only talk to men. If you're a woman, it's okay. So how how do they get married? <laughs> how, how do they have girlfriends? How so do they... mad. Turkish men only <laughs> talk to men. Wow. <laughs> are they gay? <laughs> what is this? like? What's the connection? I just I just came out from a. I just went to buy something and they were talking together. I don't understand. I hope we are in the wrong part of. I don't <laughs> what understand. The, what the bloody hell? Turkish men don't talk to men. Don't this talk guy to is. Yeah, don't like talk to women. Where, where's the connection? It's possible you run across Turkish men who only speak to your male counterpart. This is common in rural areas. The man isn't dismissing you, he's trying to protect your virtue. It's a tradition, he's just being polite. What? <laughs> okay. This. I know, I know, I know, for example, if I have a friend, if I have a Turkish friend and I go there with my girlfriend, mm-hmm. he may try not to like talk to my girlfriend so that I may not like, uh, be jealous or nothing. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. for me not to get jealous or something. Yeah. That's, but really that's understandable. A yeah, that's, that's a different case. understandable. But you're saying, but they only, they only talk, talk men. to men. That's just dumb. Stupid. Seven. Likewise. Men shouldn't directly address a single Turkish woman. It's expected that male tourists do not talk to young or single women without problems. Hey, women, sorry, sorry. Um, girls, <laughs> is this true? So you're saying if I come to Turkey, I shouldn't talk to you guys. Is that true? Let us know in the comment section. Is this true? What the heck is this? Nah, nah, come on. But supervision or prompting, simply walking up and saying hello is considered threatening. <laughs> Eight. Don't leave any food on your plate. Yeah, if you yeah, leave no, anything no. back, I, I had I had this I had this in I think South Korea or North Korea. Yeah. I think it's true everywhere. If it's, I if I prepare yeah, food yeah. for you, I'm I think it's just good for you not to finish. My yeah, food. not to finish for yeah yeah yeah. This yeah. is every, for I don't know man. If I have a restaurant and I prepare food for you, you don't finish it. Something you paid for. Yeah. Behind you risk insulting your host as this is an indication that you didn't like the meal. Of course, since Turkish cuisine is pretty freaking awesome, cleaning your plate shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Nine. Don't forget to haggle. If you intend to purchase something you find in a shop, it's polite to try and haggle with the shop owner. Don't push too hard, but be sure to push a little. It's considered proper social discourse. Number ten. Don't miss the coastline. 
Turkey has plenty of beautiful coastal cities. These often have the best temperatures in Turkey, not too hot, not too cold. And they are often full of culture as well. Where do you want to know what not to do in... George, I will slap you! Slap you. Slap you. <laughs> Guys, yeah, sorry if you are watching this video from another country, please. This is but not this is twenty yeah, percent true. I think ten percent. Okay, ten. Twenty percent. Just because two you of them, that. yeah. So that was like twenty percent yeah. out of ten. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're just talking the rubbish. Talking the nonsense. Talking things that don't make sense. Anyways, guys, this is in Turkey. If you want to know more about Turkey, watch our videos. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Watch our videos. Funny things about. Turkish culture. Yeah, wow. Those ones are light things. Humor and stuff. So you can enjoy that. Anyways, this is it. Lutfen, like, share, like our video. Yeah, comment something nice, share the video, follow us on Instagram. Until we see you next time, guys. Peace. Peace.